Hey guys, fall's right around the corner. We're finally having a few more cool days. So today we're gonna jump in and create our second fall wreath. Hey guys, and welcome to my channel where we do DIY projects, crafts, and a little bit of organization, but all on a budget. Come check out today's project. Don't forget, in the description box below, I try and link as many of the items as I used as possible. If I can't find exactly what I used, I'll link something as close as I can. If you're not subscribed, hit that subscribe button. Check out some of my previous videos and let me know what you think in the comments below. A big shout out and thank you to Kristen K from Kristen K's channel and from Natalie from Designed with the Nines for putting together this playlist and inviting me to join. I hope you guys will check out their channels which are linked below as well as everybody else's video on this ultimate fall wreath challenge. I hope you guys enjoy and here we go. Let's get started. Okay guys, I watch a lot of Do It On A Dime with Catherine and I really like her channel. I was inspired by her to do this wreath right here. So I'll link her uh, movie below, but in that movie she shows you, well her assistant I guess actually, shows you how to do this rope on there. It's a little bit tricky. If you slow it down and watch, it's a lot easier to follow. On Do It On A Dime's video, she has one of the bigger wreaths that has three spaces in between the wires. I went ahead and I'm doing it with the mini one. Here's my hand. It covers the whole frame or wreath frame. I guess it's still a frame. But I did it with one of the mini ones, so I only had two spaces in between the wires, and it still looks great. It worked great. So I'm going to go ahead. I'll show you what I did, but I'm going to leave this part blank because in there I want to fill it in with some fall accessories. Okay, guys, I'm going to do my best to describe this. You're going to go all the way over, and then you're going to go over the first two wires and in before that third one. Then you're going to go up and all the way over from the top to the bottom wire. And then you're going to go up and you're going to go in after the, the last two wires. So before that top wire, then you're going to go up all the way and all the way from the top to the bottom. Then again, you're going to go from the top over the first two wires and in before the last one. Then up to the top, all the way down over all three wires and then up and in after the bottom two wires before that that middle that inner circle and then you just keep going that way here I'm doing it with the twine so you can see it wrap a little easier once you're to the end of your rope or your twine whatever you're using if you want to push it all together and then just secure it with a little bit of hot glue I am so thankful that Catherine and her assistant shared this on the do it on a dime channel because I am loving it now here I'll show you a couple tips to watch for so that you know you're on the right path, that you're going to end up with the right design. So it's going to kind of go every other, you're going to have full up, full down, full up, full down, full up, full down. And another way I was watching myself to make sure I was doing it correctly is down here you can see it loops over the wire three times. So three times, three times, three times, three times. Does that make a little bit more sense? Kind of a little something to look for to make sure you're doing the pattern right. Here you can see a bunch of the picks that are all put together at the Dollar Tree and I just basically took them apart and I decided what I wanted to use out of each one and I'm going to go ahead and attach it in this area that I had left the rope off of. I kind of weaved the cattails in the wires that were off the bottom of the cattails kind of in through the rope so that hopefully I wouldn't have to hot glue as much and for the rest we'll just go ahead and hot glue it in place. Originally, I was going to go ahead and include some raffia, but since there's these pieces on the picks, then I'm going to go ahead and use that because if you can save a dollar, you might as well. So, my camera decided to break, and I'm having to use a totally different filming device. So if you've noticed a little bit of shakiness or not quite the best angles, you'll know why. Bear with me, I'm trying to get a new one as quickly as possible. To get this more full um, sunflower, I guess I'll call it, I went ahead and I took two of these apart. I just pulled them off the wires and then I separated this very base piece, which at first I didn't think I was going to be able to, but it does pop right off. Then I went ahead and I removed the material and I added two of the materials together and then I put it all together and that's how I ended up with this more full sunflowery type flower. I don't know really what kind of flower it is because I didn't pay that much attention to the tag. If you still want a fuller flower, or if you don't want to go through removing the material and putting it together with another flower, then you can just fan out the petals a little bit and that'll give it a more full appearance. I melted down that piece that stuck up a little bit, and then I did add a lot of hot glue on there because when I turn it over, it's all going to sink down into the wreath and adhere better. 
And I just hold it all in place to make sure everything cures and dries so nothing shifts and the hot glue holds everything firm. I think the glue finally cooled down. So let's take a final look. It'd be super easy to change up if you just wanted to change the colors or add like a welcome sign in the center. But I really like this one just like it is, so I'm going to leave it. I like to make some of the smaller wreaths. I don't do much of the outdoor wreaths. This is one of the smaller wreaths. It's part of the mini pack that comes with two mini frames at the Dollar Tree. And it's just a really nice wreath that you can hang up inside and have all season long. I hope you guys enjoyed, and I can't wait to see you next time. Bye-bye.